Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at tub blocks, insulated concrete forms. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is a tub blocks insulated concrete form. Now it's a bit bigger than you can actually see on this video, but these are absolutely ideal for creating the walls for your DIY hot tubs and plunge pools. Now, before we get going, always a great point in the video to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I put two long form videos out every single week, which is videos like this and a whole bunch of shorts as well. So there's loads of information around DIY hot tubs and plunge pools for your backyard. So please do subscribe to the channel. It just gives me loads of motivation to continue to make these videos. So certainly over the last few years, the popularity of ICF blocks or insulated concrete forms has certainly increased. And in this video, we're gonna look at tub blocks, which are my version of insulated concrete forms. And these are absolutely ideal for our DIY hot tubs and plunge pools. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a really good understanding about how they can actually work for you and your project. So firstly, why would you want to use an ICF block like tub blocks? Well, the, the first thing is the built-in insulation. So these are made of expanded polystyrene. So you're actually having the insulation benefits built into the blocks, which means you don't need to add those PIR boards or, or any other form of insulation afterwards. So you're actually integrating the insulation into the build itself. Secondly, the ease of handling of ICF blocks makes them really attractive, certainly for us DIYers. As you can see, they're very light. I'm you know, maneuvering this one round on the video very, very easily. They're very light indeed, and they're super easy to put together. And this means that on your own as a you know, single DIYer, you're able to, to put these in place quickly and easily without sort of overstraining to, to lift heavy blocks or, or anything like that. So ease of use, ease of handling is definitely a benefit of tub blocks and ICF blocks in general. Now, as costs of everything has increased over the, the last six or eight, or eight months, prices of timber have gone through the roof. So if you were looking to do a traditional form where you would create a, a form or a mold out of timber, the amount of timber that you need it's gonna be quite expensive. So with using an ICF block, you don't need all of that timber for the forms. So it should actually save you some money as well. Now, I do recognize that ICF blocks are more expensive than say regular blocks. Uh, however, with the added benefits of the insulation built in, the, the fact that you can maneuver and handle them just with a single person means that you do actually save in the long run, time saving, manual labor saving, and of course, material saving in terms of, of all of that timber that you need for, for regular forming. Now, ICF blocks go together just like Lego for adults. They literally click together, and I will do some videos of how we can put all of these blocks together. One of the big advantages of ICF blocks is if like me, you don't lay blocks very often, then it's gonna take you a long time. And also you might not get that perfect finish. Now with the top blocks, you can have that perfectly vertical, perfectly flat wall that's ready for your waterproofing and your tiles as well. So again, just, just think about how easy it is to, to actually put some Lego blocks, as I'm gonna call them, our tub blocks kits. How we put those together, we're gonna to make the actual frame or the walls for our hot tubs or our plunge pools. I'm gonna fill them full of concrete and we've got those perfect insulated walls ready for use. So I guess the, the ease of creating and building with ICF blocks is a, is a big draw and a big plus point for why we'd want to use them in our builds. Now, tub blocks, ICF blocks actually use less concrete than if you were doing a, a regular form and pour. So it's about 10% less in terms of the, uh, the, the amount of concrete that's actually needed to, to fill an ICF block rather than a regular form. 
Now inside of those ICF blocks, you're gonna put a rebar structure in there as well. And again, I'll cover that in a future video. What that does mean is that you have the structural integrity for your build. Now, if like me, you don't lay blocks very often, you may be concerned that your block laying capabilities or block laying skills may lead to a, a weak point on the build. It was certainly a concern for me with our insulated concrete forms or our tub blocks because we're filling them full of concrete then we've already got the very simple and easy to install rebar structure we've got that structural integrity and it certainly isn't a, a worry that it's not going to be strong enough and finally with tub blocks insulated concrete forms the ease of installation for the plumbing fixtures and fittings is very very simple so if you think here with our forms instead of having to core a hole in concrete or block we're just cutting a hole in the polystyrene form so it's much much easier to cut simple holes for your wiring any plumbing fittings and jets that are going to go in there you're just cutting holes in polystyrene when you then come to to fill you can actually seal up everything with that concrete. So it just makes life so much easier than having to, to really work hard to core through either block or concrete. So it's definitely something to consider. Now, if I can help you with the supply of tub blocks, insulated concrete forms for your DIY hot tub or plunge pool, then please do get in touch. The model that you've seen on this video has the square holes, which is for the European market. And I have a USA spec model that has a cylindrical hole. That's the only difference in those tub blocks kits. So whether you're in Europe, whether you're in the US, then I can definitely help you with your ICF blocks for your hot tub or your plunge pool. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.